Okay, so I have all my goodies here, my paint, my inks. I also have my wood pieces and I've got my awesome stencil. And a little piece of sandpaper. So I'm gonna first open up my stencil. I always like to fold this little guy down. And I'm gonna slip it out. Maybe, there we go. Leaving the white backing in there for storage, stability, all that good stuff. And so what I'm thinking, I'm gonna cut a lot of this apart. So I have a variety of items. I have one of these little squares and it will sit on a shelf. It'll be adorable. So I'm thinking I'll use one of these three down there. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments if you have an idea of which one would look best there. And then I have a little tray, which might be nice for some spoons. And then I have this little plaque that I'm gonna use for a sign. And so what I have already done, because I want to spend time with you doing the stencils, I've already painted all of these pieces in one coat of the One Step Paint in the Ballet White. So using my little One Step Paint, I only did one coat because I didn't want a super thick, heavy white coat. I just wanted it to be a little distressed and I'll show you that in a second. So for time, I've already coated one of these and I've coated a little tray and I coated a square. And then I also had one of these fun little crates from probably the dollar store. And I thought this would be so cute as a little book stack. So I'm gonna do that too. So I put one coat of white on all these items and I did on this one as well. And then I took just a little scrap piece of 120 sandpaper because I wanted it to be a little distressed. And so I just did a quick sanding all the way around so that any white brush strokes that were showing up, those go away, okay? And then I'm just gonna take a little paper towel and get rid of the dust. No big deal. And that was again with the one step paint and see, you can still see the grain in there. I love that, a little bit distressed. And then for my jar, I thought this would be great for some coffee. So just to clean it, I'm just gonna use some regular isopropyl alcohol. It does not matter the percentage of the concentration. I just wanna make sure that all of the oils and any dirt that I can't see is gone from there. And this is just a jar. I have lots of these. This one happens to be um, one that has a smooth edge on all three sides. It has a label on one, but I liked that this one had a pretty smooth side for perfect stenciling. So, here we go. So tell me where you're from, drop any comments. I'm from California. You can see my hands are all nice and painty. I have been doing lots of projects today. So real life, real life here. I'm gonna cut these apart. I really like this one at the bottom that it gives you a pattern stencil with it too. And this one has just some coffee beans and leaves. And then let's see. I know I'm gonna use these ones in here for my book stack. So I'm going to cut that apart. And 
So I'm just gonna cut these apart. What is your favorite coffee drink? I would have to say, well, in the morning I am a purist. I like my coffee just plain and black, but I do enjoy kind of a, sometimes a frozen coffee drink. I don't love things that are too sweet, but every once in a while, but I, you know, put it in some ice cream and I am all about that. Okay, so I think this one might be nice on the inside of there. I like that, okay. So I'm gonna put this stencil in here. I think I'll use this rise and grind one on my little square block. And then I'm just gonna use this little coffee one on my jar. I'm gonna set those aside. So I'm gonna, this one will look great here. And I think, yeah, I'm just gonna do that like that. And I'm gonna do that one in, in a white. So I'm gonna put my stuff right here. So I have my inks ready. These inks are fantastic. You can use them on a variety of surfaces. I have my white, which is Well I Declare. You can see it's well loved. I use it a lot. And then I have some black, which is what I'm gonna use on these wood pieces. And it is called Can't Never Could. And they will work perfect for this project. So I'm just kind of laying everything on where I'm gonna want it. So because if you're anything like me, sometimes we just get started and things go crazy. And I'm not, I'm going to use, so you can see this is a bit wide. So I'm gonna eliminate a little bit of these little swirls there. And I'm not gonna do the banner at the bottom, I think. I actually will add this at the bottom. I like that little pattern thing. So I'm gonna get started putting these on. And I have a water bath off to the side for when I take these off. I'm gonna just line these up on my pieces and I'm going to rub, get this on here good. Um, if you're having trouble getting it to stick, it might just be because you didn't get all the dust off your wood. And I'm just really burnishing it in with my finger. I don't want any bubbles or leaks that will prevent me to have a nice crisp image. It'll prevent it from oozing underneath the stencil. So there's that. this one inside of here. And it'll curl up the edges just a little bit. Cute. I like when they have these sets where there's a variety of quotes or designs that you could do a little decor set to do on a tear tray or maybe on a mantle. So there's that. Got my little, my words. So I think I'll put the longest one on the bottom row. I mean, how fun is that little crate? Just trying to line it up so it looks like the binding of a book. There we go, see? And it even has these little indents in the wood so that you can get it lined up properly. There we go, here's that one. And it's okay if the stencil overlaps a little bit right there. I'm more concerned with my 
words being lined up on the left side. There we go. Nice and burnished. So there's that one. Got all kinds of goodies here. All right. Here we go. Maybe, let's see. I'll do this one first, that way I can get the pattern on there. And then my jar. Get all my little backings over here in a nice pile so I do not lose those guys. Those are important. I'm going to put that in the middle there. All right, here we go. I just need my squeegee. And I'm going to use, I have a variety here. I think I'm going to use this one. It has, it's a little rectangle and it has a little bit rounded there. One side's flat and one side's a bit rounded. I like the flat side a little bit better. And then I'm going ahead and getting out my little pen. It has a little marker type tip and then a flatter tip, just in case. It's nice to get in those nooks and crannies. So I'm gonna do my white first. And I like to use less is more. I got my little paper towel here. Cause I can always put more ink on, but can't put it back in my tube. So let's do this. So I'm going to come in here. Get it all in there. Sometimes. A little trickier when it's a rounded surface, but just take your time. Let me just tell you this one step paint that I used because I used, I painted all my things right before I came live, and the room still smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. And it dries so quickly. It's a chalk base paint. So I didn't have to wait long for it to dry. So there's that. I am gonna wipe this off so it's nice and clean for my black. Then I'm going to peel this guy off just like so. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. And then when I put the coffee beans in there, it's really gonna pop with that white lettering. I love it. All right, let's get going on our blacks. So I'm gonna get out my black. I'm gonna do this one first so that I can do the pattern. I'm gonna just put a little bead of it across the bottom there. And I'm going to Pull it towards me. And remember, I'm not going to do that bottom part. I just love this ink. It is the best consistency. It's so easy to work with. It's so smooth and buttery. I think I'm going to try to skip that little curly one because he goes off the page. And it's 
not difficult to do with these awesome squeegees. It's a new set. It comes with all three of them. They're really great. I'm going to skip that one over there. Oop. This is going to look so cool. Where are you all from? Is it, what is the weather like? Ours, we have had the weirdest weather. I'm in California, and so of course we struggle with the fires some, but like it was so hot and then now it's cool out. But it'd be fun to have this set up in my space don't forget you need to tag three friends give some shares so we can show others these awesome projects and what i love about these is they you can use them so many times you could make gifts for your family with the same stencil and everybody would have matching items, whether they're shirts or decor. Okay, got a good amount of black on there. I'm just checking to make sure I don't have any little white spots. I'm going, to, oops, I missed this guy on the C. Oop, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. That is so great. I love the the distressed letter on there and lined. The lines, just the detail on it's amazing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on there because I think it will be really fun to have this pattern at the bottom. So give it some, some more texture. I'm just gonna line this up with my bottom of my little board here, burnish it on. What would you use these for? What other ideas do you have for this awesome coffee stencil? It'd be fun to hear what everybody else is gonna do with it. And so I'm gonna try not to go over the edge. So I'm coming really close here. And it's nice that these squeegees have a flat line. It helps you to get right in there with the edges. Okay. Oops, well, I can fix that. I just slipped. and my ink moved off the edge. That's okay. Tad here. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. And see, I messed up a little bit there, but that's going to be okay because I can, once this is all dry tomorrow, I can just touch that up with some white paint. So here we go. Let's get these guys done. 
And then I can't wait to put it together and show you. That one, get this guy. in there. Oh, there it goes. Oop. Look at those. Super cool. All right, getting these over here, and then I just have this last one. going to go put them together for you and send you some pictures. How about that? So what did everybody come up with as far as using this stencil? There we go. Okay.